when we first got together, Chuck was working in the theatre and she was working night time. Night. And I was working daytime. So I would... We saw each other. That's probably why we're still together. That was really good because we spent about three or four years. Well, more than that, about oh, no. yeah, ten, long years. Long um, uh, so ten years. So we saw each other when, on the weekends and when we... Well, Sundays, yes, they were... You'd be getting home and I'd be going to work. Yeah. So that would leave notes. There was like lots of notes yeah, involved. No, that was good, that was good. But then he used to come into the theatre. Yeah, theater, I'd come into the theatre. On the weekends and yeah. go out to dinner between shows yeah. and stuff like that. So, and then I'd, well, often I'd be still up when Chuck got home, but she'd be sort of I mean, firing and I'd be, I'd be ready to go to bed. So, we met through a mutual friend. So, our matchmaker. A matchmaker. Our very god Officially, a very god Here you go. I was doing Godspell in yeah. Sydney in 78, 77, 78. I was, I was keen, but Chuck sort of... We were otherwise engaged. Was otherwise engaged. <laughs> she was interested, I think. So that sort of I was 21, away. 21. No, I just turned 21. And then um, a couple of years later... Yes. Um, 1980. I, yeah. Um, I was doing My Fair Lady. That's right. I stepped off an aeroplane um, coming mm. from Melbourne to Sydney on my way to Brisbane and Chuck was there... I was there with Peter Noble, the fairy the godmother. The person who got us together. He was picking up... He was picking up No, we there. were picking... No, Peter and I were picking up Robin. That's Arthur, right, yeah. Who was coming back from Avita. So we sort of we sort of connected. For about 18 months, we were sort of... Chuck was on the road and mm. in Sydney and I was here. And then um, I decided it would be a nice idea to move to Sydney. So I got a job at University of New South Wales and moved to Sydney and moved into Chuck's flat. And Bondi, yeah, and we lived together for three years. And Still then, there, the block of flats called Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara said, do you want to come and live in Melbourne? Give it a go. So she said, yeah, more than okay. <laughs> Because, Listen, yeah, this house. Because I had this house before I left. And I had three, it was in 77. It took a while for you to adjust, I think. Oh, I cleaned all that. I painted the whole house <laughs> yeah. in that first year. I did, you know, I picked up a bit of work with the play box theatre. Yeah. Set. We get on pretty well. Um, patience, <laughs> compromise, um, enjoyment. We, you know, we're Creativity. Good. Yeah, we're, we're probably... I, think, I mean, we, we're good companions in a sense. We, we can um, do stuff together. So I mean, some people... You know, relationships are, you know, spiritual, physical, intellectual. You don't get all three. You get, you know, probably get two of them. Um, and so we could we get on, you know, domestically we get on pretty well. Um, physically we get on well. Um, we just enjoy probably the same things. We just same uh, friends. Well, well, we don't have all the same friends. We've got my group of friends, Chuck's group some of them are the same. Um, but we weren't, we didn't get married. We, we didn't get married till 1989. Yeah, we, we lived together for 10 years. Nine years and then um, got married in 1989. So what do you think we have uh, lasted so long? Or last it's probably the same reasons that you just said. Yeah, yeah. We hmm. can live together, like it's about living together really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Having children sort of probably increase the depth of our love and our, our connection. We both brought different things to parenting, but we were both um, probably, you know... We're pretty fun. By, yeah, we're pretty good fun. Pretty good fun. Led by yeah. the children, you know. It was a nice honest. combination. Mm -hmm. So that it was pretty relaxed and it was fun. We had a good time. And the kids are great now and, um, you know, they've grown into lovely young men. They so, had a pretty um, diverse group of Well, yeah, and there were lots of people. people. There was always lots of people. Lots of show folk. And lots of show folk and lots of friends, a diverse group Intellectuals, of yeah. academics. A lot of diverse group of friends. And they'd always be included at the table, wouldn't they? Yeah. That was the nice, nice part. They always, there was always... Conversation. They're good um, talk. Always um, the table and eating. It was very important, and there was always there was a, a there was a rhythm. And there was always meals, and they always sat down. And when people come 
came, they always sat. Absolutely. And, and they learned how to sort of survive at the table. And, and they met lots of, you know, interesting people from, from both our sort of backgrounds and had interesting experiences. And I was thinking about this this morning, um, how it's like your life is like divided up into four parts. It's like your childhood and then your independence and your working life with four children, then children, and then when the children go, it's like four part. Hmm. Yeah. It was, it was you, but you retired quite yeah, early. Yeah, I retired early. I was still yeah. working. I retired when I was 58 and yeah. kept working. Yeah, I was still working at school, not in show business. Our world has shrunk to a certain extent, um, and it's easy and comfortable, but you know, we still have ideas of with, with people, we know people all around the place and we want to go and visit them. Hand, you just have to hand it out, don't you? <laughs> Try and do too much. When I retired, yes. I, I, and COVID happened, then COVID happened, it was lockdown, I sort of was like a bit frantic at first, like I felt like I had to do something, right? And so I was sort of like, well, I've got to do something for the house, I've got to do the, the garden, something in the garden. I've got to do something in the house. I've got to make, so cook something, and I've got to give something to a neighbour. I've got to see the neighbour. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, after a couple of weeks, it was a bit exhausting. I thought, just one thing a day might be good. <laughs> just calm down. But um, it's sort of just taken a kind of steady pace now, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, and, and that, in a sense, we have never been driven people to, you know, wanting to, to conquer the world or do things or be curious and wanting to But we're happy to, to live quietly. I mean, I think that's part of it. We're both happy to, to, to sit quietly and, and, and to be part, to, you know, live, live the day by day. And, you know, Cicero said that we need a man, we need a man and a woman is a, um, a library and a garden. Mm -hmm. you know, I'd, add, I'd add decent Wi-Fi to that. <laughs> And, you know, you really don't have to go far. There's plenty of projects to do, and that's where I did all the mosaics yeah. and I painted the kitchen and the bathroom and, you know, yeah. fixed up this and cleaned the entire house. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there was always a project, um, yeah. whether it was a drawing or yeah. cooking or making whatever marmalades. So. Yeah, and making books. I've been making books, picture you know, books, books and all that sort yeah, of also thing. You did Websites that. and, you know. You've got the community. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, just like going. That. Yeah, that's nice. Like that around here. So that sort of stuff, which is, you know, a lot of the stuff's been focused on local things. Yeah. And and that's, to me, that's important. Um, you know, that's where you live your life and the mm -hmm. local stuff is really yeah. critical. I mean.